How's it going guys? My name is Ken and welcome back to the channel where we talk about filmmaking, photography, iPad Pro read, content and tech. So today's video is going to be a short one. I never thought that I would be making a second video on this. But here is a little situation on the M720 Triathlon mouse after using it for about two years. So the other day I was casually reaching out to my M720 mouse from my bag and as soon as I held the mouse I noticed something weird. The size of the M720 mouse just sort of melts away and it looks and feels really bad. Currently, I rarely use this mouse for my everyday task other than playing games on the M1 Mac Mini. If you've been following the channel for a while, I picked up the Magic Trackpad version 2 and I've been solely using it to navigate through almost everything I do here on the M1 Mac Mini. Also, if you've missed my previous video talking about the M720 mouse, you can check out the full review of the video talking about everything there is to know about this mouse. I strongly suggest that you watch that video first before continuing this video as this would just be an additional update from that particular video. And so jumping straight into today's video that is talking about the real life build quality of the M720 Charlatan mouse. And this is the current condition of the sides of the M720 Charlatan mouse. As you can see here, the rubber material on the sides of the grip of the M720 mouse is literally peeling off. I was a little shocked that this actually happened at around the 2 years mark of having this mouse. And my guess would be the lack of usage of this mouse causing it to dry up and eventually cracking similarly to how a leather shoe that lacks shoe polish dries up and crack. Now it is pretty uncomfortable to hold the mouse in the normal way but whenever I do use it I will hold it by the side and I try to not touch that rubbery part. So yeah that's that for the update on the build quality depreciating the more you are using it. Aside from that my experience with this particular mouse with the M1 Mac Mini still suffers from massive stutters here and there whether if it's using the USB dongle directly or even using Bluetooth connection. I'm pretty sure everyone else is also facing this particular issue with peripherals even with the Logitech MX Master series. So nothing much has changed from the horrible connection with the M1 Mac Mini. However, connections on the Windows platform seem to be smooth and so far still very good. So for those of you who are looking into picking up this M720 Charlatan mouse by its own or if you are considering picking this out from the MK850 combo in which I have also made a video talking about all there is to know about the keyboard and mouse combination. All in all, I would still recommend the M720 mouse for all the good things that it offers. As this is an entry level amateurish god tier mouse as compared to the MX Master series. That being said, picking this mouse up bundled with the K850 keyboard, which is also known as MK850, is an absolute steal. So, the problem with the cracking of the rubber from this video's showcase could be because I've stopped using the mouse, letting the material deteriorate by itself, and um, I guess I'm the one to blame. And that's about it for today's video. Just thought to share with you guys a quick little update and hopefully the last update on the M720 Charlatan mouse. I'm currently looking out for another Logitech replacement in which I've made a poll on the community post tab. So if you would so kindly recommend which series of Logitech peripherals I should try out, do leave your votes or comments in the post. And uh, that's it from me. I hope this video was insightful. Thank you all so so much for tuning in. I will catch you all in the next video. Stay safe, peace out, and bye-bye.